Okay, so you're probably wondering how I got into this situation. Yeah, that girl running after the car, that's me. But in order for you to understand what's going on, I need to take you back to the beginning. And by the beginning, I mean last Tuesday morning. That guy there, that's Tommy. He's the one that got our group together. You see, we've been having some problems here at school and Tommy took it upon himself to be the hero. He claims that he's doing this for the love of his school, but just between you and me, I think he just doesn't want to see his senior year of basketball get canceled. And that would be Benji. He may not look like much, but he's definitely one of the brightest students the here at Maranatha. I have a few classes with him. Always sits in the front row, kind of a teacher's pet, but he's good to have around because the faculty never questions what we are up to. I guess they figure that Benji would never break any rules. I'm gonna get some breakfast, wanna come? No, I think I'll just get a coffee from the cafe. I've got a test after chapel and wanna get some more studying. All right, well, I'll see you later. Yep, have fun studying. I will. Taylor Barnes, visual arts expert, theater pro, unbelievable with the camera, and a super computer nerd. There's not much she can't do. Oh yeah, she's also my best friend. Caroline Davis, Tommy's girlfriend. He, of course, had to include her in his group of Ghostbusters, and I'm glad he did, because if it weren't for Caroline, I wouldn't have stumbled upon this wild adventure. Uh, the ghost must have struck again. This is really getting out of hand. You know, if they can't stop this, they're gonna send us all home. But they can't do that. How do you know that? I overheard Dr. Maria talking to some of the faculty. If they can't stop whoever's doing this, they're sending us all home for the rest of the semester. What? They can't do that. I have literally been counting down the day to graduation since I started. Are they allowed to just send us home? I don't know, but I know I'm not letting some prankster cancel my last season of basketball. I've worked too hard for it to be canceled over something so silly. Which is why I have a plan. What is this? That is how we're going to save the school. Yeah, I'm still lost. Well, I gotta go. I gotta get one of these to Benjamin Bennett before class. Benjamin Bennett? Since when are you friends with Benjamin Bennett? Don't worry, I'll explain it all later. Just be there. Oh, and don't tell anybody. Oh, and there I am. Gwen Goodwin. <sighs> Caroline also happens to be my roommate. Did I forget rough to mention day. that? More like rough week. Gwen. You do realize that it's only Tuesday, right? Wait, seriously? I was totally thinking it was Thursday. Ah! 
Hey, we need to do something fun tonight. You want to go to Taco Bell later? Actually, I already have plans for tonight, but maybe Taylor could do something? No, she said she has some type of theater thing going on tonight. Bummer. It's well, I have another pass, so I will see you later. Okay? Yeah. I'm just have a movie night with me, myself, and I. What is this? Secret Society. Hey, that's tonight. That must be what Caroline is doing. Probably some new club on campus or something. Guess I'm gonna have to reschedule that movie with myself. I see you've been chosen. I'm the flyer. Oh! Uh, yeah, I guess. So. What exactly have I been chosen for? Honestly, I have no idea. All I know is Tommy has some sort of a plan. So where is he? I don't know. You don't know what this is about, and you don't know where he is. You know, for being his girlfriend, he really doesn't tell me much. Tell me about it. Come on, Benji, hear me out on this. This could be fun. I don't got time for fun. I, I got job applications to fill out, resumes to update, Finals to study for? Finals are like two months away. It's never too early to start studying for finals, Thomas. Right. Well, listen. Think of it as a great service you could do for the school. This is important. The school needs us. The school needs you, Benji. Uh, service, huh? Like, um, community service? Uh, yeah. Kind of. Well, I hate to pass up community service. It looks great on my resume. Great! Ladies, thank you for joining. Sorry I'm late. Let's get this thing started. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering why I brought you in here today. We're all aware of the things that have been going around around campus. The power outages, the presentation takeovers during chapel, the weird noises, and that strange shadowy figure that's been reported around Old Main. Yeah, the second and third floor of Old Main was blocked off yesterday. Anyone know what happened? No, the professors wouldn't tell us anything. So, what's this service we're going to be doing for the community, Thomas? We are going to be saving the school from shutting down. <laughs> Tommy, you got to give us a little more than that. I still have no idea what's going on. Look, the other day I heard Dr. Marriott and some of the faculty talking. In short, if we can't stop whoever's doing all this, they're going to send us all home. No spring sports. No graduation. No spring play. No finals. Look, we've all got something at stake. So I figured we can just sit around, wait for that dreaded email to come, or we can take matters into our own hands. We can catch this ghost. <gasps> I thought no one was supposed to know we're here. No one is. Ah! Hey guys, sorry about that. The door is stuck. Gwen, it wasn't stuck, it was locked. Oh. Oops. You invited Gwen? No. Uh, Gwen, why are you, how, how did you know we were here? Well, Caroline, she left the flyer in our room, and I didn't have anything better to do tonight, so I thought I'd check it out. I caught the gist of what you said through the door, though. We're going ghost hunting? Awesome, you can count me in. <laughs> Gwen, I don't think that's really a good idea. It's just that this was a secret group. No, I totally get that. Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. Gwen, we don't really know what we're getting into here. And you don't really do well in stressful situations. What? I, I can totally handle it. Please, let me help. I mean, Taylor and I are both here. How much trouble could she get into? Okay. Fine. Gwen, welcome to the team. Yes, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> I'll email you guys tomorrow with a game plan of where we're meeting and map out what we're going to do. Now remember, this is a secret. So don't tell anyone. Guys, it's here. 
All right, it's game time. Does everyone know their jobs? I was able to locate the main electrical panel for the school. I'll cut the power to the building. I'll set up the tripwire in the basement. And I've got to lure the goat down to the basement. I really don't understand why I have this part. Why do I have to be the decoy? Uh, you, babe, it's like the most important job. Besides, can you see Benji going face to face with the ghost? Hey! <laughs> Anyways, Taylor knows more about circuit breakers. You don't know anything about setting a tripwire. And we need these big guns for when the ghost falls right into our trap. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, now everyone's on the same page. We don't have much time. Let's go. Wait, you guys never told me what I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gwen, just stay in the van. Come on, guys. Let me help. Stay, stay in, in the, the van. van. Stay in the van. How you doing on that wire, Benji? Over. Almost set. Just got to make sure that the tension is at the right. There. Got it. Hope no one's afraid of the dark. Okay, Tommy. Once the ghost hits the wire, you can make your move. Over. Got it. Okay, Caroline. <clears throat> Sweetie. Over. What? You're up. You got eyes on him? Over. You know, you keep saying him. How are we really sure it's a, it's a him? It, it could be a girl for all we know. Benji, that's not really a pressing concern for me right now. Yikes. It's pretty dark in here. Man, I hate the dark. Caroline, do you see him? Over. Yeah, I followed him up to third floor. Wait, what? Wait, wait what? I could have sworn he went into 309, but I can't see him anywhere. Caroline, what's going on? Talk to me. Sit tight, Tommy. I'll go help her. Just, just be ready. Over. Fantastic. Taylor, sit tight. Ah! Ah! I gotcha. doing here? We told you to stay in the van. Did you catch the... Gwen? You caught Gwen? You guys, you guys were taking too long and I was bored so I wanted to help. Yeah, great job with that, Gwen. Guys, he's coming! He's right behind me! Why are you in position? Gwen, what are you doing in here? There you have it. Now we know how we got here. Wait! Wait! wait. Guys! She's not an animal. Guys.
guys, did we get him? Okay, we have little room for error. We have to catch this ghost tonight or we can kiss this school year goodbye. Don't worry, Tommy, we got it this time. He's not getting away from us again. All right, everyone ready? Let's go. Oh, and Gwen? I know, I know, stay in the van. gonna feel that in the morning. Uh, actually, medically speaking, he's gonna feel that a lot sooner. Benji, that's just a say. Come on. <gasps> Guys, I got him! Got him! You killed him! No, I, he's not dead, I don't think. <gasps> See, he's fine. Well, Finally time to see who's been behind this the whole time. Uh, wait, Thomas, if I may, I think I know who's been behind this the whole time. You, you do? do? If my theory is correct, then I'm certain that the person behind this mask is... <gasps> Mr. Mr. Fleagle! But I don't understand. Why would you do this in school? Why are you trying to shut us down? I can answer that as well. You see... There have been some talks of MBU having to make some cuts to the staff. So, Mr. Flegel figured out that he would be a potential let go. So, he came up with a plan to terrorize the school until they were left with no other option but to close down. He, then being the ghost himself, was going to be the one to put a stop to the problem and come across as a hero. The school couldn't possibly let go of the person who saved the school. Mr. Flegel, is that really true? Yes, I'm afraid Benjamin's analysis is accurate. But how could you do this to us? All the students love you. I love this school. I, I love its students. I didn't want to have to go. But I also didn't intend for it to have such a serious effect on the students. When I saw how scared it was making some of the students, I, I decided a couple weeks ago to turn myself in and just take the hit. But then I heard Tommy telling Caroline that he had a plan to catch the ghost, and I, I didn't want to rid you that excitement. Wait, so you knew we were chasing you the whole time? Of course, I was just having a bit of fun. Getting hit by a car was not in my plan, though. Yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> Tommy, if we turn him in, they'll fire him. You know, maybe there's a way we can help you out that doesn't involve terrorizing the school. You kids would really help me out after all this? Sure. It's, it's like Caroline said. Everyone really loves you. I'm sure that we, we could find a way to keep you here. I mean, and it's the least we could do since we hit you with the car. You. You hit him with your car. There is no we in that sentence. I, I really can't tell you kids how much this means to me. Just promise us you won't scare us like that again. Come on, guys. We should probably take him to the doctor and make sure he's okay. 
That would be nice. I think I cracked a rib. Oh. Uh, guys? Never mind. <laughs>